reality for me. See you later, Maggie. Come back, Darren. After thoroughly enjoying our time being back on land with our friends, it was time to say goodbye for now. And hello to Boat Projects. Panda's up here already digging. Well, today we're doing something kind of cool. Uh, we have an old sail that I don't think we can get any use out of. And in town here in Bar Harbor, there's a small shop that takes donated sails and they make really cool bags out of them. So I walked in the shop yesterday and I asked if they would take a sail and they said absolutely. And even on top of that, they said they'll weigh it. If it's over a certain amount, we get to pick an item from the store. So I thought that's pretty neat. So this is a, a sail that came with the boat when we bought it. It's a big Genoa, probably like 170 or 180% Genoa. We already have one that large, a newer one. This is a bit older. I think it's been repaired a few times. It's still serviceable and worked, but I don't think we have any need for two of those, especially since now we have a new Genoa, a much smaller one. So we kind of have a, a good range of, of sails. So it's taken up a ton of space because this thing is huge. So we're gonna go dig it out of the locker. Oh, look at that bad boy. So you excited to pick out a bag maybe? Yeah, that's pretty cool to get a bag that's out of recycled sails. It's kind of like they get a new life. Yeah. As a bag. <laughs> yeah, instead of just cool. being junked, like it's good material. Yeah. So pretty. That's pretty. Yeah. There might be one that has little It's all the lobster pots. Yeah. Or the buoys. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I hope we went very well. This worked out really well. How cool. With Panda's bow a little lighter, it was time to tackle a new problem that sprung up. Well, I think it's boat maintenance day here on SV Panda. Uh, we're on a mooring in Bar Harbor here, and yesterday the fresh water pump decided to quit. Well, it didn't quit, it just kept running and running and running. And initially we thought there would be a leak in the system, but we checked around the boat, couldn't find any leaks. So I'm almost thinking the pump has failed internally and is just kind of free spooling. It, it can create a little bit of pressure, but, uh, but not much. So today's task is me to remove the pump and I think disassemble and check for any issues. And then we need to order some parts, uh, maybe a rebuild kit and get it going again. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully it's not like a, a leak in the system that we can't see, but uh, almost certain it's not. So let's disassemble. Okay, I got the pressure pump out. This is again the, wa the fresh water pump. This is one pump that I have never rebuilt or replaced of all the different pumps on the boat. So I probably have good reason that it failed internally, but we'll 
we'll take it apart and look at the diaphragms and see. All right, well, I think I found the culprit uh, in this like little diaphragm pump. I think there was a couple of really small cracks right in that corner here, and then another one here. And this bladder, the rubber is, is really stiff. The bladder doesn't move much, so uh, probably old and then compounded with coming to cold climate. The water's cold, and I think everything just kind of got tight and cracked. So otherwise, the rest of the pump is fine. It's just a casing and, and a belt and a motor, which all that works fine, and the, the pressure side. So yep, just need a rebuild kit. I think we'll be back in service. So we ordered a rebuild kit and even a new shower faucet for our head. And while we waited for delivery, we spent some time enjoying hikes around the area. Well, today we are out for our hike of the day. Hike of the day. <laughs> What do you think? Let's check it out. <laughs> and uh, we're excited to be surrounded by such a beautiful forest right next to our anchorage. And we're hiking along a different path today. And we found this cool, uh, it looks like an old house that we're gonna check out. Like an old, old house. That's what I had quite the view, I think. Yeah. Even though the trailhead said private drive, this whole island is owned by Acadia National Park. But at one time, it was home to the famous reporter, news anchor, and documentary host Jack Perkins and his wife Mary Jo for 15 years. Yeah. I think this is a good example of one, either how old this is, or two, how fast trees grow. Because, like, this tree clearly would have been right in the middle of this kitchen house area. And this is like a solid big tree. But, I mean, we're talking probably over 100 years ago, right? Yeah, and I'm curious <laughs> yeah. what this was. Yeah, but nice, like, a proper fireplace chimney. And there's two on either, there's one on either side, hmm. so there's one here, one over here, and then have like a, and then you can see the foundation, then around there, yeah, so it's probably like a kitchen, I don't know. Not quite as old as we thought. In 1984, after falling in love with Maine, the couple built a small off-grid cabin on 12 acres of land surrounded by the park and named it Moosewood, after the striped mountain maple trees also known as Moosewood. The southern exposure provided a spectacular view of the Bar Harbor waterfront and the peaks of Acadia behind it. It was also the perfect orientation for the solar panels they relied on for electricity. We felt that we could relate to the passion of this couple's desire for off-grid and simple living. This would be an awesome house. The view is incredible. We seem to have found another chimney along the path. I love finding old ruins. Yeah. It's fun to think about what it would have been like to live here and to try to piece the home together that was here. In 2003, the Perkins sold the property to Acadia National Park. The house and all the small outbuildings were later torn down to allow the island to return to its natural state. Well, we just finished re rebuilding the freshwater pump. New seals, new valves, new belt. Just 
just get it all plugged in here down the engine bay. So we have our fresh water supply line from our tank. This pump here uh, pumps it up to a high pressure and then goes to our whole fresh water system. So for the very first time, we're gonna turn on and see if it works. Fingers crossed. All the air. Oh, oh, there we go. There it is. Oh, fur is all the air. Oh my gosh, it worked. We built pressure. Wow. Filtered water. You can leave it on. Let them both run. It's probably some air up in this one too. It sounds healthier. Yeah, it didn't have all that water hammer problem. Yeah. We fixed it. Oh my <laughs> God. The pump has a, like a water dampener inside on the input and the output, but this was the state of the current of the previous water damper. This rubber one is like really hard and old. And two, it was just completely collapsed. And then, uh, and then I think it had split in a corner and so it was just bypassing pressure from the low pressure side to the high pressure side. Also, we replaced these valves that were in it. And like this rubber is really hard where the new valves are totally soft. And then last, we have this rubber piece that you see is pretty well deformed and getting some micro cracks and that's new too. So I think the pump was just long overdue for a rebuild. Uh, we never rebuilt it. I mean, it's probably been in there for like 10 years, I assume, with how hard all this rubber is. I'm really happy with how that went. Holy cow. That was quick. Yeah, we ordered the part. A little plug for Defender Marine. If you don't know who they are, look them up. They're a really good marine supply company. I've used them for a ton of parts. Although they might not have like the best prices, they have really good customer service and they ship really quickly. You can always call them and get someone on the phone to like help you out. So we ordered this on Friday. It was like Friday midday. We called them, placed the order. It arrived Monday. And like, they were like, hey, like we're really backed up. We don't know because of the current situation. We don't know if like it'll get there. It got there, no problem. So we're, we're stoked in just two days. So while Darren made or fixed the pump, I made breakfast. Toasted bread. <laughs> Toasted bread. I love toast. Toasted bread. bread with scrambled eggs and mushrooms, jalapenos and onions. And Swiss cheese on top because every meal should have cheese. Yeah. Planning for colder climates, sailor showers, bathing off the transom and jumping in the ocean, were now becoming out of the question. So we started the first part of upgrading our showering situation aboard with a new faucet. So today's project is installing our new faucet in the head, which is very exciting. This was our old one and we got a new one and it's this one. So now we had to cut out this hole a little bit bigger and well, all kinds of things. Of course, the, the fittings that came with it, this fitting is not the same size, nor is this length uh, sufficient enough. So I had to take the old faucet and these holes where this screws into it, I actually had to tap it out. Luckily it was like drilled the right size. So I tapped out the, the new one and I don't know if it'll actually, if it'll leak. It's not quite like a perfect seal but uh, we'll see if it'll get us by until we can spec out longer ones of these. Santana's gonna turn the water on, go ahead. A moment of truth to see if well, my thread tapping actually worked and didn't leak. Well, I don't see a rushing of water. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Thing. Wait, can you turn it on again? 
All right, hold. What's leaking? Uh, I think it's it's just the the handle connection into the faucet. Um, are you sure there isn't something else in the box? This keeps leaking. There's no like valve rubber gasket. Ah, yes. Found it. Yeah. That's what it is. It was just metal on metal connection. That doesn't work. So. Yeah, that's what we need. Twelve seconds later. What's the new leak? Two hours later. Alrighty. Right. Think you solved all the leaks? Yeah, and none of the leaks I think were caused by me. We we're missing an O-ring, and luckily I had a spare and fit in. And that works. So yeah, functionality of this bad boy. It can act like a normal faucet where that stays open. Um, you also have like a shower feature. So, so that's cool. Hot, cold water. In our case, we don't have hot water yet. Yeah, and then this hose can come out. I still have to work on how it comes out. <laughs> a little bit. Totally shower. That worked pretty well. Oh, now it came up okay. Yeah, and boom. And then when you want to use it as a as a thing, it has this valve. So when you want to shower, then you can just do that and shower. Wow, we're wasting a lot of water. Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, but it's so neat. Woohoo! Oh my gosh. Sometimes it's the little things in life that need celebrating. And with our new parts installed, it was time to find a new anchorage. Join us next time for a sail to our favorite spot in Maine. Oh man. Allergies. <laughs> Too close to land. How many dead bodies do we have on board? <laughs> I don't know, the rats are uh, eating them up. He made a pump. <laughs> he made a pump. <laughs> no. Also touched my eye and it had jalapeno on my hand, so it's burning. Spicy eyeball.